All right, this is number eight, uh, number eight right here. Now for this one, uh, you have a, um, you have a quadratic expression and we've seen y being greater than, okay? So uh, we are going to shade a region, y is greater than, meaning that we have to draw the graph using actually dash line, and then we'll shade the region above the line. But first thing is, what do we know about this line right here? Well, I know that there's a, I know there's a y-intercept of uh, seven. I wanna try to factor, only to find out that it's actually not factorable. So what can we do, okay? What can we do right here? And we say, well, if that's the case, you probably want to uh, do completing the square. Why? Well, because by completing the square, you actually can um, get the vertex form, okay? So once you get the vertex form, which in this case would be three comma negative two, once you get the vertex form, you can actually make a graph using one, three, and five. In this case, one, three, five would be sufficient. And you have your graph like this. So when things are not going your way in terms of factoring, just make sure that you can do something else. And that is to find out the vertex. And then you have your graph and you will shade the region above the line because y is greater than, and that's it, okay? That would be it. You do not list any intervals here because we have x and y both as the solutions. And so, uh, so we need to, we must shade the regions to include every single bit of values, uh, every single value here in the region to uh, be included in our solution. Okay, so that's how you will do question number eight.